My grandfather, on my mom's side, was drafted in World War II. And while stationed at base, he once saw Elvis passing through the cafeteria. <laughs> People like dropped their trays and screamed, Elvis, Elvis. <laughs> so even in war, he was still Elvis. In Germany, he was assigned as a cook and told to burn any leftover food so it wouldn't fall into enemy hands. But as he walked out the kitchen back door, he saw hungry, often homeless children waiting in the alley. He couldn't bring himself to burn it. This wasn't their war, he'd say. He knew a thing or two about being hungry, having grown up in a one-bedroom shack with 13 brothers and sisters, where he slept in a kitchen cabinet and hunted for their food or they didn't eat. His family worked on a plantation and pick cotton. His father, the son of a full-blood Native American who lived in a teepee, and his grandmother, a Scottish slave. Struggle was in his bones, so he chose to feed those kids rather than let them go hungry. My grandfather, my dad's side, was also in the war as a port captain. He died when my dad was young, but before he became captain, there's a story that's really crazy. He and another soldier crawled on their bellies behind enemy lines across a two-mile bridge in the dark sweeping their bayonets for landmines. Can you imagine that? This was vital for the tanks to cross and take the enemy by surprise. They say he started the night with dark hair like mine, but by the break of dawn, it was pure white. And his father fought for Germany in World War I, eventually fleeing to America in search for a better life. I don't know if he saw the rise of Hitler coming or not, but I'm very grateful and thankful that he made his way to Ellis Island to help us become Americans. I come from a Native American, a Scottish slave, and a German immigrant. My family's roots are woven with resilience and complexity, a blend of cultures and stories that reminds me every day that people are rarely as simple as they seem. That's one of the reasons I love America, a place where we strive not to judge based on skin color, but on the content of their character, as MLK said. No matter your race, religion, gender, or creed, what truly matters here is who you are as a person. I'm grateful for the freedom to live in a place that honors that ideal. Today, I'm deeply grateful for everyone who's ever fought for our freedom and so much more. Because as we know, freedom is not free. So thank you, veterans. Happy Veterans Day. And God bless America.